After a heartbreaking loss to Dustin Poirier in UFC 257, Conor McGregor gave his statement about the fight and said that his legs were totally dead. Conor also praised co-fighter Dustin for being a good man. Yeah, it's heartbreaking, John. You know, it's hard to take the highest highs and the lowest lows in this game. My leg is completely dead. And even though I felt like I was checking them, it was just sinking into the front of, the muscle at the front of the leg and it was badly compromised. And it's like an American football in my, in my suit at the minute. So, you know, it is what it is. Dustin fought a hell of a fight. Engaged in the takedown attempt. I thought I'd done well, I got up, torn them. I was in my head thinking in that second round, I didn't just tie up now. I felt all right when in the clinch room. I was better than him in the clinch. Um, but too little, too late. The leg was compromised and I didn't adjust. To, and, and that's it. Fair play to Dustin. Very happy for him. Very happy that I got to compete in, this, in these times and, and come back with the 11th UFC. Dustin Poirier responds to a call out by Michael Chandler and saying he has no interest in fighting him. In fact, he suggested fighting Charles Oliveira instead. No, it does not. Um, respect to Chandler, great win over a guy. But to come in and beat a guy I just beat and get a title shot, dude, I've been in, what is this, 27, 28 fights in the UFC, trying to, have, you know, everything, fighting the toughest of the toughest guys to, to get my hands on gold. You know, he should fight Charles Oliveira or something. Let Chandler and Charles Oliveira go at it. Uh, that doesn't really interest me at, the, at this point. The damage that Connor received from Dustin was visibly observed when Connor walking out from backstage. McGregor was walking slowly and seen using a cane. And that's all for your MMA news, thank you and please don't forget to subscribe.